Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the construction site on Friday. Today, uh, I'm hoping a few things will happen. First, an excavator will come to finally put our septic tank in. Second, my neighbor will come to help me move the container. And uh, yeah. And third, I hope the guys put some forms up for the posts maybe. But we'll see, I can see they're putting uh, forms for the top layer of concrete on top of the walls. So, cool. So you can see the guys have been hard at work putting forms up. Uh, these forms are for a concrete crown or a rave. Uh, basically a top layer of concrete on top of the walls that also uh, supports the top of the window openings. And uh, the top level floor will be poured uh, as one together with, uh, with concrete and it's also going to join with the posts with some beams that are going to go on top that's going to be a complicated structure of forms and uh, rebar and uh, concrete really cool Alright, so here we are up here on the scaffolding and uh, this form you can see is uh, lower on one side and taller on the other. This is where the uh, floor is going to go, concrete floor. And this, uh, looking from top of the window, this is the wall, the top of the wall and you can see this form is being held by pieces of rebar, reinforcement, that just go through and uh, it sets the level in some places the guys used shims to level the form so they could uh, raise and lower this just by shimming the piece of rebar up and down as you can see in some places the guys are using wooden shims to level the forms out so that they are at the proper height this one and uh, yeah so that's uh, how this form work is done they're going, they're going to put some forms up for the posts in the middle now. So they're taking the scaffolding apart. These uh, are also held together to the wall by some uh, block screws. Basically there's a screw that's screwed into the full brick that's on the top layer. And it holds the forms, the walls. There's uh, multiple of those. And here for the windows, where you can see there's a hole that just a hole all the way down. There's going to be a bottom board held up with some uh, either steel pieces or uh, wooden posts, so that uh, when we put concrete, it doesn't uh, drop. Excavator is here. We're gonna dig up the septic tank. Really cool. So the, he's changing the implement for a, a bigger digging implement so the work can go faster. We're gonna pull the uh, old tank which is uh, crushed out and put in my contraption, septic tank contraption that I made uh, in the place of the old one.
container up so that we can lift it and uh, put it down in place. Okay, well, we got it in the ground, really good. Now we're just going to backfill the excavation carefully, not to damage the container too much. That's really cool, when it was set in place, some of the ground collapsed in, so it wasn't even, but the operator pushed down on the side, on the skid, with the arm, and we put, put it more or less in level. So it's looking pretty good. It's quickly disappearing underground. Really cool. Alright, so the septic tank is in. And now the operator is going to dig me a trench for the uh, sanitary line. So I can connect into here, into the orange uh, pipe. It's good to have an excavator and not have to do this by hand. It's making really fast work out of it. Alright guys, so the trench for the sanitary is dug. It's a pretty nice uh, angle of descent. And now I asked the operator of the excavator to dig me a little tiny trench for the water and electric. So he's just removing the top level of grass so I don't have to fight with it with a shovel. And this way I can just put the pipes in and then cover it up, plant some new grass and be happy. And this is uh, from the water pump straight to the house. So the operator worked for a bit over an hour. Everything is done. And we can wave bye bye. Really cool guy. Ah, he helped me out a lot. This saves me hours and hours of digging. So I'm preparing to put in the uh, sanitary line. It's going to be a straight run of about 16 meters to that inlet at a uh, at least two percent decline. And uh, by the house, there's going to be a slight uh, turn, and it's going to be connected up into the main 
sewer outlet. Okay guys, so I'm putting in the pipes and I'm using the bubble level to make sure there's uh, the co correct decline. This is about two, two and a half percent of decline. And that's just from experience on the house. And I'm going to check on every connection and make sure that if your uh, bubble level is longer, that you put it on the two joints and not, it's not resting on the pipe because that will throw off your measurement. My neighbor is here with the forklift and we're going to move the container. So these are some extensions we're going to use so we can uh, get a better grip on the container. It's up in the air, but I have to help the neighbor navigate. Just, 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 just stop. Susiedzie, dziękuję bardzo jeszcze raz ponownie za tę, za pomoc. Do zobaczenia, dziękuję. All right, guys, it's the end of the day. I've uh, buried some of the pipe. You can see it comes out here. I also poured some water on it. And then there's a 15 degree angle, like a corner. It has a branch off here for the toilet in the reduction for 110 pipe. And it goes all the way over there. There's a vent and before the vent in the corner over there there's uh, for the kitchen sink, the outlet for the kitchen sink. So those two go together to the sanitation tank and then here is the pipe from the shower and the sink basin in the bathroom and they will go here and in this joint they will go into this uh, pipe perforated pipe and fabric which will just run in the in this excavated hole near the surface and this will allow the soapy water from the shower and from washing hands just to sink into the ground there's nothing wrong with that actually I heard that uh, the soapy water has a good uh, uh, has a good influence on the plants a lot of nitrogen or something I don't know but in general this is what I've done today and uh, now it's going to be a long weekend so on Wednesday next week I'll be back and we'll put a water pipe in uh, this trench together with electric and uh, finish burying the sanitation pipes, sanitary pipes and shower pipe in this excavation and then in, uh, for the sanitation tank uh, at the end we we'll also cover that up so that it's nice and ready and we can start moving into our summer house which is now in position in the shade it's really hot today of the cherry tree and uh, from the inside looking out there's a nice view and I don't know if I show you the bathroom but the bathroom is pretty nice and there's a toilet a sink basin shower a hot water heater electric and uh, over here is uh, some inlets for the kitchen sink so it's all looking very good and hopefully we'll spend the rest of the summer here with the family just need to get some furniture for the kids and uh, some beds and stuff like that for the kitchen some cabinets for the kitchen and that will be it thanks for watching this episode I hope to see you soon and uh, next video coming up after the weekend so stay tuned and have a good day bye